the international billionaire, Richard Branson's Life of Luxury. Welcome back to Luxury Max, Future Billionaires. Today, let's take a look at the international billionaire, Richard Branson's Life of Luxury, and discover how a self-made business neophyte has become one of the world's biggest multi-billion business tycoons. Richard Charles Nicholas Branson is a British billionaire, entrepreneur, commercial astronaut, and business magnate. The son of a barrister and flight attendant, Branson was born on July 18, 1950 in Blackheath, London, United Kingdom. Due to dyslexia and ADHD, Richard was known to have poor academic performance in his early school life and on his last day of school, the headmaster told him that he would either end up in prison or become a millionaire. Virgin Records released the studio to new artists and signed bands that were deemed controversial at the time such as Mike Oldfield, David Bowie, The Sex Pistols, Aaliyah, The Rolling Stones, George Michael, Janet Jackson, Lenny Kravitz, Culture Club, Massive Attack, and The Spice Girls, which rose the company to become the world's largest independent record label. By 1979, Richard Branson's net worth was estimated at 5 million British pounds, and a year later, Virgin Records went international. Richard Branson had a penchant for starting a business and becoming an entrepreneur at a young age. In line with the business, Branson ultimately established a record store along London's Oxford Street. Richard Branson launched the record label Virgin Mail Order Records. He named the business as such because he considered himself to be an inexperienced or a virgin in doing business at the time. Branson purchased a country property located north of Oxford and established the Manor Studio, Virgin Records Residential Recording Studio. In 1984, Branson became the majority shareholder of an airline that he later on renamed Virgin Atlantic Airways. In 1985, he launched Virgin Holidays. Despite fierce competition from other established airlines, Virgin Atlantic still prospered and flourished in the business even though they had just started with a single aircraft. In 1992, Branson sold Virgin Records to generate extra funds for Virgin Atlantic. Branson wrote about his decision to launch an airline in his autobiography. My interest in life comes from setting myself huge, apparently unachievable challenges and trying to rise above them. From the perspective of wanting to live life to the full, I felt that I had to attempt it. Branson once said there is no point in starting your own business unless you do it out of a sense of frustration. In 2021, Virgin Voyages, Richard Branson's luxury cruise ship venture, officially embarked on its mermaiden voyage from Port Miami in Florida, USA. More than seven years in the making, Virgin Voyages is marketing its debut in style. With its name inspired by an early Virgin Atlantic plane, the Scarlet Lady is Virgin Voyages' premium take on what a luxury ship means. With Richard Branson at the helm, Virgin Voyages is redefining the traditional luxury cruise ship experience by combining premium elements from favorites on land with the freedom and simplicity of a life well lived on the open ocean. As the new era for sea travel is on the horizon, the Scarlet Lady is designed with a unique approach to how cruises look and feel. The Scarlet Lady is where the super yacht design and your dream destinations meet. The luxury cruise ship experience was done the virgin way. The Scarlet Lady offers an experience of a lifetime, full of surprises and delights and mermaid-forward experiences woven throughout the voyage which awaits its sailors who can afford to go on board with her. Some of its amazing and fabulous amenities and facilities include the bar area,
Stubble and Groom Squid Ink Tattoo Extra Virgin Italian Restaurant Casino and Bar The Manor Nightclub The Red Room Theater The Champagne Bar The social area The pizza place The dock house The wake Deck 15 Gun Bay Korean Barbecue Restaurant And the gym area Richard Branson got married twice And his first marriage was with Kristen Thomasy in 1972 but called their divorce in 1979. He met his second wife, Joan Templeman, in 1978 and finally tied the knot in 1989. They have three children together, two daughters and a son. Born in 1979, Claire Sarah Bronson was the first daughter of Richard Branson and Joan Templeman. She died in the same year when she was just four days old. She is followed by Holly Branson who was born in 1989. She studied and became a doctor but has quit her profession to work with her father in their multi-billion business. And finally, the couple's only son, Sam Branson, was born in 1985. He is a filmmaker, actor, and former model. He married Isabella Calthorpe in 2013. After 33 years of fruitful marriage, Richard Branson and Joan Templeman are still together up until now. Richard Branson is a proud owner of numerous real estate properties all around the world, some of which are found in the most breathtaking and magnificent parts of the globe. It comes off as no surprise that he can afford all of these. After all, he is a multi-billionaire. And there is no better way to spend your money than how Branson did. First of which is his own private paradise retreat at Necker Island, located in the British Virgin Islands. Richard Branson solely owns the island which comprises a whopping 74 acres of land surrounded by sandy beaches and blissfully clear blue oceans. The Virgin Billionaire bought the island for $180,000 in 1979 and spent over $10 million transforming it into a luxurious resort. Another is Mosquito Island, which is also located in the British Virgin Islands. The island serves as a luxury private holiday resort island for holiday goers. Three lavish villas comprise the 120-acre private land, which are the Headland House, Beach Villa, and Mangrove Villa. These villas can accommodate up to 22 people in total. Mahali, Missouri is a small-scale luxury safari camp located within the private Olerm Motorogi Conservancy in the country of Kenya. The safari camp offers guests an exclusive safari experience in one of the most wildlife-rich parts of the Mara ecosystem. 
Montrachel. All the way to Cape Town, South Africa is Richard Branson's stunning 26-bedroom hotel and vineyard called Montrachel. Montrachel features the manor house, a private residence that is complete with two swimming pools, four suites, and a cozy bunk room. There are restaurants and wine cellars sprawled all over the place, showcasing the best of Cape Town's local cuisine and wine industry. The Ulusaba Safari Lodge is Richard Branson's exotic safari getaway which can be found near the Kruger National Park in the Sabi Sand Reserve in South Africa. This 13,500 hectare private game launch and reserve features daily game and safari drives wherein we can see for ourselves the Loken Lion Pride yawning in the sun, a breeding herd of elephants, and different species of antelope and numerous rare bird species. The hills of Ulusaba are spectacular in themselves, offering a view unsurpassed anywhere else in the reserve. Perched on the top of the Atlas Mountains of Morocco, Richard Branson's magical retreat called the Kasba Tamado can be seen. Each of the luxury resort hotels 28 rooms and suites which has been individually decorated to reflect the beautiful architecture of the building and features antiques from all over the world. Another of Richard Branson's luxury mountain retreat is The Lodge, which is located in the Swiss Alps of Switzerland. Advertised as the perfect year-round escape, The Lodge is complete with nine stunning bedrooms and suites, an indoor pool, indoor and outdoor hot tubs, fabulous spas, and local cuisines prepared by Michelin star train chefs. The Lodge is a true alpine paradise ideal for a luxury ski holiday or an active summer break. On the picturesque island of Mallorca, the San Bonilla is a private estate where three luxurious villas, Sa Terra Rota, Sa Punta de Sagila, and San Balergue are available to lease exclusively. This gives its future guests a chance to appreciate the island's natural Mediterranean allure during their quick stay. And lastly is the beautiful Makepeace Island which is located all the way in Noosa Sunshine Coast, Australia. This beautiful 25-acre heart-shaped island was purchased by Branson in 2003 for over $2.86 million intended as a gift and a paradise retreat for his Virgin Australia airline crew. But now anyone can lease the British business magnate's private leisure haven. Richard Branson has become a renowned and illustrious global figure for his work in retail, music, and travel with interests in land, air, sea, and space travel, as well as his insatiable taste for adventure and humanitarian efforts. Branson was also placed on Time's list of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2007. His estimated net worth grew up to $5.7 billion in July 2021, according to Forbes. Most of us can only dream of buying and having our own paradise islands and owning fabulous luxury cars like Branson. However, Branson's life story has shown us that it isn't altogether impossible. Play hard, work hard, and um, you know, follow certain principles in life. Richard Branson himself has started from the bottom and with his gift and passion for his business, he has worked his way up to owning all of these luxurious things and becoming one of the richest men in the world. Someday, all of our hard work will pay off and we will live the life we've always dreamed of, future billionaires. Keep tuning in to our channel, Luxury Max, to find out more about the latest reward trends of the super rich, where we will be creating quality content videos for you to enjoy. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to comment down on what we should make a video about next. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you guys in the next video.